Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your February monthly reading. I am Charlene Lizette. Oh my God, I can't believe we're on monthly readings for February already. If you are new here, hey, how's it going? Welcome, thanks so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. Okay, if you have never seen these readings, this is how it's gonna go. I'm just gonna fix the camera because I think you might be able to see. Yeah, you can still see me and more importantly, you can see this. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out three cards for career finances, three cards for love and romance, and three cards for general overall energy, not necessarily in that order. Okay, first it's career and finances. Oh, darn it, I may have screwed up the desk, Sagittarius, I am sorry. No, that's okay, there we go, that works. Okay, so we got the moon, the fool, and temperance. Whoa, okay, big changes are coming in your career and your finances in the month of February. Holy cannoli. Okay, general overall energy, let's dive in. The king of swords. The Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, okay, and then let's see Love and Romance. We'll do the full Love and Romance reading at the end, all right? Um, please know that I don't offer private readings, so if somebody DMs you on Instagram and says, like, I've got a download from you, no, it's a lie. There's, like, four different accounts that are pretending to be me on Instagram. It's actually quite ridiculous. Okay, woo, Sagittarius, the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the three of swords and the three of wands moving on judgment the three of pentacles i'm not going to go down that deep i think this is um actually this is very much in alignment with your weekly reading for the 24th to the 31st so i wonder if that energy right that energy that i was feeling for the end of the month for january is uh like um seeping into and continuing for february I'm actually seeing a lot of financial abundance coming your way. I'm actually also seeing a lot of financial stability. Hold on. Oy. So you got Sagittarius. Yeah, you're showing up. Love that. And then Lilith, repressed desires. Okay, what is going on here? Let's get adversity. I think you're going, you're finally going after a dream career, a dream job. Or, or something that you've been wanting to go after for a very, very long time. And then you got worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah, so you got the moon, the fool, and temperance for your career and your finances. Holy cow. Talk about talk about major arcana. Actually, it's you got one, two, three. You got four major arcana for the month of February. So I would turn around and say that February may end up playing a pretty uh, big role this year for you, okay? When I look at your career and your finances... The biggest thing that I'm seeing here is this opportunity for you to um, actually let go of some fears and step into these repressed desires, Lilith, and trust yourself, okay? You're very much in your energy, Sagittarius. So you're showing up as temperance. You're showing up as a Sagittarius card here in my astrology deck. I'm actually seeing, you know, you understanding that to start something new, career and finances, sometimes it's going to take a little bit of time. And sometimes that growth is going to take some time. I almost feel like you're recognizing that you got to put the fears aside and go after it. Understanding that owning your own business and starting something new takes time. It takes work. It takes, you know, time for the engine to get rolling, to get going. And you're no longer um, worried and afraid of actually enjoying um, your career, right? Like maybe in the past you were working a job you didn't really love, but you were doing it because you felt like you needed to. This is a completely different energy. This is you doing what you want to do because it fuels you. And that's perfect because that's stepping into your true soul purpose. All right. In the King of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles for the general overall energy. Again, I'm seeing you get really cut through. I'm not in a bad way, though. I think you're just cutting out a lot of the noise and a lot of the bullshit. You're making a pros and cons list. You're getting very black and white. This is what I want. This is what I don't want. Okay, now I'm going to go and manifest exactly what I want and I desire. All right? You're getting very specific on what it is that brings you joy, okay? I also think you're focusing a lot on your money. I wouldn't be surprised if you were talking to like an accountant, a financial investor. I wouldn't be surprised if you were working with somebody um, to help you understand how to make more money, how to attract more financial abundance into your life. Okay, these are all things that I'm seeing very much so. Um, and then with the two of pentacles here, I also see you budgeting 
your money as well. I also see you making a lot of choices. This is going to be a month where you're not only stepping into your power, you're really getting clear and intentional on who you are, what you want. I also feel like you're very focused on your finances. And it makes sense because March in Canada is like tax season. I don't know wherever you are in the world if that makes sense for you. But I think you're realizing with everything that's going on in the world, you want to make sure that you're very financially sound moving forward. You don't want to be in um, financial situations that are feeling very constrictive, restrictive, tight, difficult. You're like, no, 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 we're not here for that anymore. We're not going to be worrying about money like that anymore. We're going to get very, very clear and intentional. And we're not going to be worried about the things that happened in the past or moving forward. Forward. And all of this is actually going to be reaping a lot of rewards for you. A lot of financial abundance, a lot of success, a lot of money is coming your way. Okay. And a lot of opportunities are coming your way too. All right. Let's move on to your love rating. I'm going to move this to the side. Can you, I don't, oh, that's okay. I guess you don't necessarily have to see. I'm just going to move it to the side so that we can focus on your love rating. Um, so, you know, because I don't do, oh, crystals, crystals that I would recommend, uh, pyrite. Same thing that I said in your weekly reading for the end of January, pyrite, okay? If you have pyrite, wear it, um, put it in your pocket, um, hold it, meditate with it, like just be with the money all the time. Think about the financial abundance. Think about the stability. Don't be afraid anymore. Believe that you deserve it. Believe that it's yours, okay? And start working for it, all right? If you're into crystal jewelry and you want to support my jewelry line, Star Sea Jewels, I hand make all the pieces. Take a look at the description box below if you want to shop. I would definitely recommend something like Bastet, okay? It's black tourmaline and uh, pyrite, all right? And it's this beautiful piece to help you stay grounded and focused on your money, okay? Let's take a look and see what going on here um if you want to work together with me uh the next uh tarot intensive course that i'm hosting is in march uh so sign up to that if you're interested in learning how to read tarot tap into your psychic abilities your intuition and your inner wisdom uh the courses normally always sell out they have the last two times so not going to be surprised if it sells out now uh, so you can register for that in the description box below on day one i teach you how to connect with your psychic abilities your inner wisdom your inner your intuition and i walk you through the story of the fool and the major minor arcana and then on day two you apply all your new skills and uh, you work together with your classmates to learn how to read, feel confident. And then in the afternoon, we talk about starting your own business. You get to ask me whatever questions. I'm with you the whole time. That's in the description box below. Okay, the other course I'll let you know before we dive into this is if you have been feeling lost, stuck, helpless, hopeless, if you feel like you're ready to step into this next stage of your life, if you're ready to take back control of your life, step into your true soul purpose, your true soul power, if you're ready to make 2022 the year for you, come join my line course. It's a 12-week course. You get weekly coaching with me. You get live classroom settings a week. You get pre-recorded videos to watch and do work on. You get worksheets. It's this whole course designed to help you align your life and connect to your highest self so that you can manifest and attract anything that you desire effortlessly. I walk you through how to connect with your inner self, your true self, who it is that you are and how to make a difference in your own life and in this world so that you can have everything that you deserve and desire because you deserve it. Yeah. Okay. So that's in the description box below. All right. Uh, heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other with the nine of wands. Okay. For those of you in a relationship, I'm not going to lie. Okay. I think there may be a little bit of trouble in paradise. Um, I also am not going to lie to you. I'm not feeling this is for people that have been in a relationship for a very long time. This feels like growing pains in a newer relationship, in a newer connection. With the getting to know each other and the Six of Pentacles, I think there just has to be a little bit of balance that's being restored for some of you that are just dating or talking to somebody. I love this honeymoon and the star card together, okay? Um, when I look at the star card, the first thing that I feel is like all your wishes and your dreams are coming true, okay? But sometimes we think that as our wishes and dreams are coming true, uh, coming true that uh, there's not going to be learning lessons or there's not going to be hiccups or there's not going to be moments where we're going to have to work a little bit harder for something or learn a few lessons okay and it's not to say that um you know it's all work and no fun and it's not to say that if you have to work and there's resistance it's for you either this is about learning that there are growing pains in evolution and in growth right like we have to learn to adapt and this is your dreams and wishes coming true 
through these adaptations, okay? Um, if you are single as a Pringle, don't be surprised if there's a chance meeting, okay? You may be a little bit defensive. You may not want to talk to this person. You may be a little bit caught off, you know, off or caught. You may be a little bit guarded. They may be a little bit caught off guard. Like, why is this person guarded? But I also think that the more that you get to talk to them, the more you'll see, like, there actually may be a potential here for a little bit of romance in your life in the month of February, Sagittarius. All right. Thank you so much for all your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. If you want to shop over at Starseed Jewels or enroll in any of my courses, take a look at the description box below. Thank you so much for all your support. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.